Hey guys, what's going on? So in today's video, we're going to be leveling up really fast in Dead Island. This is the very first Dead Island. This is at the very beginning after you wake up. Uh, so if you're playing this game again and you're like, God, I have to level up all throughout this game again. This is going to suck. This is going to take forever. You don't have to do that. All you have to do is come to this part. As soon as you come down this elevator, as soon as you get out of the elevator, uh, you're going to come in here and these zombies are going to chase you and just follow where I go. So these zombies right here are going to chase you. Just turn around, and there'll be a third door right here. There'll be a zombie in it. Just punch him around, and move, and then jump up here on this bed, and they should come running in. See that they're level 51 right there, so get a little closer to the edge right here and just start punching. Your stamina will run out. Just make sure you can just keep doing this over and over and over and over, and... Uh, you will level up really fast. Make sure you leave one zombie alive to kill you at the end so you can restart this process. I'm going to go ahead and skip through this and show you guys uh, how fast this levels me up. Let me go ahead and show you what level I am now. As you can see, I'm only level 1 and I have 53 XP already. So let me go ahead and skip through this and I will see you guys in a second. Alright guys, I'm back. So... As you can see, this one is almost dead. This uh, infector right here is almost dead. And they are level 51. So if they hit you quite a bit, they will kill you. So make sure you're standing a little closer to the edge and just start punching. And oh, let me little, get a little closer and start punching. And as you see, I killed her and I leveled up. Let's see how far I leveled up. All right, I'm not level two. I'm at 2000 XP. And just keep doing that over and over. Make sure you... Uh, you set up fury and everything like that and start knocking people out and everything uh, you can do it a lot faster now as you can see he's almost dead so we're gonna go ahead and kill him as well so or at least we'll try to all right see as you can see I just killed another one and I leveled up again so let's go ahead and see how far that leveled me up Three. I'm now level three, so I have another skill point, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on something else. Um, wait, let's see which one gives me more fury. Uh, okay, receiving damage gives me more fury, so I'll go ahead and kill this guy. And I'm gonna go ahead and skip to this one as well, and I will see you guys in a second. All right, as you can see, this guy is almost dead, so let's go ahead and keep hitting him. All right. So, three dead, and I've leveled up probably three times. Yep, I am now level four. So, let's go ahead and put it on something else. Let's go ahead and put survival on. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if this helped you, let me know down in the comments below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Also, um, why you need to leave a zombie alive is because if you kill all these zombies in here, then you have to go ahead and finish with the mission, and that sucks. But after you kill those three that chase you, you come in here, and there should be zombies down there. There should be more infected down there. So you have a quite you have quite a few zombies that you can kill. Uh, make sure you kill all the infected first and then kill these slow walkers down here. And that's really it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments below if you did. And I, I hope to see you guys next time. And yeah, that's all. I'll see you guys next time.